Communication training with Dan O'Connor. Hi everybody, it's Dan O'Connor coming to you from the space shuttle, of course. And I have two tips for you this week, whether you're delivering customer service or not. We want other people to get into the habit of saying yes when they're around us, right? And one of the easiest ways to do that is by using a tag question. Remember, a tag question is simply a statement followed by a quick yes or no confirmation question, such as instead of saying, isn't it a beautiful day outside? If you were to instead say, it's a beautiful day outside, isn't it? That's a tag question. Yada yada, isn't it? Yada yada, don't you think? And when you do that, you get people into the habit of saying yes, either mentally or verbally when they're around you. You want people to get into the habit of saying yes, because someday you're going to need that advantage. People in the habit of saying yes when they're around you. But in addition to that, I wanted to give you a quick danger phrase and power phrase. Remember that, especially with customer service, we never want to say to our customers, are you needy? Are you wantful? You know, so when we say to somebody, do you want to yada yada, or do you need a blah blah blah? That is going to signal that we have not yet invested what we should have invested in our customer service skills if we're dealing with customers. So instead of saying, do you want or do you need, it is always preferable to say, would you like? You know, instead of, do you need a bag with that? <laughs> would you like a bag? Isn't that different? I mean, imagine if everybody at a convenience store were to suddenly start saying, would you like a bag with that? You'd think, oh my gosh, where am I? <laughs> so. Remember that one little thing makes a big difference, but if you couple that with the tag question and were to say to somebody, instead of, for example, do you want me to send that out by five or do you need that by the end of the day? If I were to say instead, I can get that out for you by the end of the day, would you like that? Or I can send that out by five, would you like that? I could throw all these things in a bag for you, would you like that? When you couple the, the purging of the do you wants and do you needs and then add a tag question with that, and your verbal patterns begin to sound like yada 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 yada, would you like that? Yada 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 yada, would you like that? Not only are people going to get into the habit, woo, the space shuttle's hitting meteor storms, not only are you going to get people into the habit of saying yes when they're around you, which is always a plus, because remember, someday people are going to decide subconsciously, hmm, I'm on the fence, should I say yes or no to you? And they're going to look back and think, well, what am I used to saying? Get people into the habit of saying yes, it increases the odds that they'll say yes no matter what you're asking. But in addition to that, when people are in the habit of saying, yes, I'd like that, yes, I'd like that when they're around you or when they're in your office or in your business, that's going to bring your personal level of service or ministry up a notch and it will bring your business up several notches. Imagine if everybody in your company started using the verbal pattern Yada 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 yada. Would you like that? Yada 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 yada. Would you like that? And your customers were suddenly filled with like for your business. So remember, it's really simple to change verbal patterns. Just start with one. Make that your verbal pattern of the week, and keep it visual. Remember, visual cues are key. Keep your verbal patterns, whether it's a danger phrase that you're purging or a power phrase that you're adding, up where everybody can see it. We are visual communicators. Visual cues are key. So those are your two tips for the week. Remember, tag questions get people into the habit of saying yes to you. Yada 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 yada. Would you like that? And purge the do you wants and do you needs. Remember, Black Friday special is coming up. So if you're getting this the week before Thanksgiving, you've got one week to take advantage of our Black Friday specials for our new video programs. And I might throw in something extra for those of you who need an on-site as well. I don't know. Make sure to check DanOConnorTraining.com and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Just look up Dan O'Connor Training or Communication Training Videos. You'll find us. I appreciate all your support. I look forward to seeing you soon. And if I don't talk to you until after the holidays, I hope you have a holiday season filled with love and family and lots of things to be grateful for. So thank you, everybody. I think we're about to... Uh, hit a, a lunar storm, so I better sign off. This is Dan O'Connor. Buddy is not with me today. He's waiting for me at home, so I'll see you soon, little buddy. Signing off. When you live, uh, when you live long enough, you see it in practice. We tend to forget it, though, and we might be in a relationship where we think, you did what to me? 
For example, I was just talking with somebody who's had a breakdown with their best friend. And what he was going to do was teach her a lesson. Oh, 